Hello and welcome. Today we'll do a very simple project using ESP8266, a very common uh, IoT project which involved uh, sending alarm when a door is open. So uh, we are going to use ESP8266 and uh, IFTTT website to send the request and uh, get the notification. So let's get started. So I am here at the IFTTT website where we will make uh, an applet to get the request from our ESP8266. Uh, I have been logged in here as you might see. Now we will create a new applet. If this, then that. So in the this option, we will put webhooks and receive a web request. We can call it door opened. Create trigger. Then what we want is to send a notifications so if i search for notification i can see that so you can send a notification from the ifttt app now you can call uh, anything here in the message but probably we can do like this we can uh, take value one which will be the status of the door it is it can be opened or closed and then it happened at we can take another uh, parameter which is occurred at so we can get the time as well create action finish now we got our applet created the next things we need to do is go back to the webhooks documentations because we need the key so here is the event we will put door opened and then we are gonna copy this key to use in our uh, Arduino code so let's uh, check our Arduino Here is the code. The first thing here is that we need some uh, library. We are using sp 8266 HTTP client and the Wi-Fi H file. And uh, this you need to change your SSID and the password for the Wi-Fi. And then we are defining an, uh, a variable called door closed because we want to get the latest status of the door in the setup we will put our read switch in the input mode we'll begin our code as serial at uh, 115 200 baud rate and then we'll set up the wi-fi in the wi-fi method uh, we set the Wi-Fi in the station mood and then we use our SSID and the password to connect. We will wait if it's not connected for a second. Uh, very common example I'm using here. In the loop, we'll set up the Wi-Fi if it's not connected. And then uh, when the read switch, our where the input is coming from is high and our initial variable is one then we see that the door has been opened we will serial pin and then we have a method which do the magic get http and it has a parameter called door uh, string parameter it can be the status of the door it can be open or closed so here we have two status it can be open and it can be closed and we will pass those parameter to the, the web hooks because we want to get the status as well 
So if I check the get HTTP, as you can see that the status state have a parameter where we actually uh, start the HTTP connection here. So HTTP begin, this is the link you are gonna, we have just copied from our IFTTT web page. Uh, this is for the simple notification if you want to get it and there is another example where we can use this one to even pass the variable state from here which will then let us know even if the door is open or closed not only just saying that hey door has been tasked or opened or closed uh, so we have to uh, comment up this one if you want the status and as you might remember uh, I took the value one so value one will be the status in this case and then we are using the get method to update the status here and pretty much that's all so let we configure our ESP and see how we can uh, work with the hardware. Here are the components. We are using ESP 8266. Uh, this is actually Wemos D1 Mini Pro based on the ESP 8266X chip. It has a 60 megabytes flash and built-in PCB antenna and as well as actually the good thing is that it, it got a external antenna connector. So if we have an um, area where wireless or Wi-Fi internet is a bit far, we can probably use this antenna as well. Uh, this is another Wi-Fi module for ESP made by the AI Thinker a very cheap I think four or five dollar it also got an uh, UFL plug but for our this project we are using this mini so let me connect probably I will use a breadboard and since I need only two pin, uh, D1 and ground, I'm gonna use this one instead, just to test everything work fine. Maybe later we can use some uh, connectors. ground and then I'm using the read switch here this is a there's two type normally open and normally closed I guess this is normally open because it's supposed to be like that normally open so when the magnet get away should be closed so i'm just connecting the cable to d1 and then ground we are kind of ready to upload our code so i will use a usb cable very tiny one so now I'm gonna upload and code and let's see if everything working fine I have uploaded the code now and we have the phone to check for any notification we are gonna open the door by removing the switch let's see 
Yes, door open at March 29, 2019, 2.55 p.m. I don't know if you can see this notification. And then we are going to close it again. And uh, we get the notification of door opened. So it was open at 2.55 and door closed at 255 if you remember we are using the value one uh, to get the status and as well as the occurred at parameter to get the time so that's all and uh, now i'm using the usb port to power the uh, uh, esp but since it will be inside the home uh, in inside the door i'm gonna use a power bank battery something like that uh, of course you can use uh, a lithium battery like this one it is uh, 3.7 volt 1200 mh and to use this battery you need uh, the power shield uh, the good thing about this power shield is that you can actually recharge using this one. So you use the connector with the power shield and then you connect the battery and you can uh, recharge it using the USB. So that's all. Now I'm gonna put it on my door and uh, yeah, thanks for watching.